McDonald's. Why did you decide to go to DC on January 6th? Well, how often does a president ask you to come to a rally? Doesn't happen. At some point, this goes from peaceful protest to you having an ice axe in your hand, mm -hmm. um, breaking a window, trying to get into the Capitol. How did that happen? It got violent, and it was violent for a while, and I'm completely in pain. And um, Because you had I, been hit? Oh man, I had been hit with a baton, I'd been grabbed and thrown, I'd been sprayed, I mean, my whole body was on fire. I don't think there was rational thinking in my head at that point. I didn't have an ice axe that passed through the crowd. Somebody put it in my hands and it was only in my hands long enough to take out that window pane. And yet I've been charged with a deadly weapon. Somebody really, give uh, you the ice axe? Yeah. Who? I don't know. You don't remember? I don't know who they were. Okay. Um, I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it went. I grew up, and I guess you probably did too, of, of being told, you know, if a police officer tells you to do something, you should probably do it. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen that day, of course. The police were telling you guys to go away. They never actually told us to go away. I never had an officer look at me and say, you need to leave or I'm going to arrest you. Footage like this of Rachel seen here in the fur hooded coat pushing against a police line and messages she posted on social media condoning violence ahead of January 6 were used by prosecutors to argue that Rachel wasn't just a peaceful protester who got caught up in the chaos of the day. Do you regret that day? Um, I regret, I have a lot of remorse for ruining my family's life. I don't have remorse for attending protests. I don't have remorse for speaking out and saying that I believe that the election is stolen. A federal judge convicted Rachel on nine counts, including destruction of government property, obstruction of an official proceeding, and engaging in physical violence in a restricted building or grounds. Surely, in the last three years, being locked in here, have you ever had a moment where you're like, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Biden actually won the election. Maybe I'm the conspiracy theorist. No, not at all. She's due to spend the next few years behind bars, but she believes one man could change that. So this hat says, Rachel, we love you. Trump. My three of my sons, they met Trump. And um, you can actually see them one of the times here. Trump was very encouraging to them. He's made it clear he's going to pardon us. There's a lot riding on this election. Totally. For the country, but also personally for you. Oh man, for me it's huge. For me it's like life or death. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. If Trump wins, you could get out of prison. Correct, I will get out of prison.